Hello and welcome to another of King Cole's How To videos. Um, we've been asked to look at Christmas Crochet Book 6 and this particular Christmas tree which is done with like a crocodile stitch or a, a crocodile scale um, to create this. And I know one or two people are a little bit unsure about how to create a crocodile stitch um, and also um, we've had one or two questions about how to decrease um, because obviously you start off with more stitches at the bottom and you've got to end up with less at the top. So that being said this is we do the blue Peter bit now here's the one I prepared earlier so on this you have got your your crocodile stitches and for the first couple of rows at least you are doing them alternate so um, they're all staggered. Obviously when you come to do decreasing you've got to lose a stitch so rather than them being alternate you've got to have two that line up and this happens at various points uh, around the circle. So what I'm going to do now is pull a little bit of this back so that I can show you how to work a crocodile stitch and also show you a little bit about the base row because basically this is a two row pattern repeat. You do a base row that is a set of trebles and then you work your crocodile stitch over the top. So just bear with me one second. So what I've done here, I've just taken a, a tiny bit of this back and so this is the row that you have below. So let's say that your um, rounds one, three, so your, your odd numbered rounds are going to have sets of two trebles in between. There's usually a set of two there and a set of two here. And at certain points, you only end up with one treble um, in between, which you ignore. So let's start off first of all, I will show you how to make the crocodile stitch. So we are doing, uh, 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 where are we? Get my instructions right in my head now before I show you something wrong. <laughs> um, right, so it's a front post half treble. So a front post means that you're going from the front to the back around the back of a stitch. So a front post half treble, you go first of all wrap then behind the post, then grab your yarn and bring, bring it back through and a half treble, as you may already know, is where you just pull it all the way through. So I'll just work another set of those. So that's wrap underneath, grab, bring it back through, wrap and through all three. And for these, we are doing five in total. three, four, five. Okay, then this is the slightly faffy section. Um, again, just, you do a one chain at the bottom and then we're doing the front post half trebles around the next v-stitch. Now this is where it gets faffy because you're sort of turning your work back on itself and going up the other treble. It's, it is faffy but once you've done a few it does actually get a lot easier. So that's one. I'm going around the back again. Two. Three. So what we've got there is this sort of horseshoe shape. So we've done five half trebles down here, a single crochet and five half trebles up there. Um, then the next bit is that you do a slip stitch in between there. So that gives you your center anchor point and then you take the next pair here. So again, round the back of that pair, through, 
and again. Three, four, five, a chain, and shimmy your work around and start again. I'm sure there's slight variations on this if you do a slightly different variation but basically end up with the same stitch by all means use that um, there's often more than one way of in both knitting and crochet of doing things but this is the way I've been taught to do it and for me it works so again that's your next one and then you're doing slip stitch to that point so you can see there how you make your scales. Now, what you've got here, I'm just gonna go slightly further back so that we can see them. This is the point where you've got the ones that are stacked up. So on the previous row, you will have a treble. So you've got a pair of trebles here. Then at the point it tells you to do it, you've got a single treble, then another pair of trebles and another single treble and then pairs of trebles again. So at certain points, again, all the way around on the row before, you will have just a single treble. And that is so that you can ignore it on this next round and create one on top of the other. Um, now, what I think people are struggling with is the fact that they're staggering them for a while, and then suddenly you've got two that are stacked up and it, it kind of feels wrong when you're working it but that is the only way that you can get rid of a stitch and therefore start to do the um, cone effect that you're going to need to do. So hopefully that will um, help. Um, if you have any more questions, please do contact us and we'll try and answer them. Um, but that's basically how you work your crocodile stitch and also how you do the little decreases so that you're, you end up with a cone and not just a tube. Okay, take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.